What a day. What a day. Um, so, I just thought while I'm getting the, uh, the legs uh, paracoated, um, I've had some, uh, done some progress with that. Uh, so, what I've done is I've, uh, I've, I've took these off. They actually come off, they're screwed by uh, four bolts here. And um, I sanded everything down. Um, I had to use a sanding disc for this. And then I just re uh, resprayed it, a uh, simple respray on for here, with some uh, black metal paint, protector paint. Uh, it's a zinc based uh, paint for uh, outdoors. And uh, it's, uh, it's quite good actually. So it's nice and, and clean now. Um, I've used new, uh, what are these called? These new, whatever, rings, uh, metal rings. Uh, just because the other one were too rusted. Uh, same thing on the inside. And uh, let me just show you. I've put the uh, control panel back on, the coin and everything. Oops. Let's, uh, now this uh, looks much, much cleaner now. Look at these. Like These were all just completely rusted. This side was completely rusted. Um, all these now. Are nice and lovely so I'm gonna leave this as is it's not too bad I'm actually just uh, bring I might just bring um, a little bit of uh, sandpaper to it um, I have cleaned all these as well so all the metal parts I still have a couple over there uh, all the, the clamps here uh, I'm gonna you have to use some uh, wood filler for this just to fill those holes and uh, allow the screws to get a, a better grip um, Gonna have to do the same here as well. I'm missing two screws, but overall, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's it's getting there. And uh, I have the bottom here, and it actually looks worse than it actually is. Uh, so I'll just take a, a light, uh, a light sandpaper, uh, maybe lift those and paint around the uh, sand and paint around the all the wires here. Um, but it's not in too bad shape uh, overall. Uh, yeah, this is actually was it was it was a uh, oops. Uh, come back here. Um, it was actually just rusted, so it took a bit of effort to uh, clamp it shut. And now it's uh, it's very very nice. So there you go. That's where I'm at right now. It's kind of tricky things with one hand. Um, so I'm waiting for the legs. It will take a couple of days to uh, to arrive, and uh, once we have the legs, we'll be able to put this back uh, back up, and I can keep working on it. Uh, before now, I'm sort of on hold. Um, this needs just a bit of a clean, really. Uh, I just use some alcohol, but you can see like it's had uh, it's had some damage, but that's okay. I can definitely live with that. Um, some marks here that I need to clean. Other than that, other than that, it's it's going well. And uh, where is that monitor? Sorry. The last thing, so I I cleaned that monitor already. Uh, gave this a clean, um, so I could see what I was dealing with. So, the problem with this guy is this is a Toei uh, CM R20 and there's cap kits for us the main issue is that very often the uh actually we have a bit too much light now the uh, the flyback um you can't find them anymore and uh, the only way to get a new flyback is to get one from an existing one so i'm at the stage where i'm wondering whether it's worth spending the money on a cap kit uh, when I don't know if the flyby is good, but I suppose there's no way to avoid that. So, uh, looking around here, um, you can see traces of corrosion on some of the. Uh, the there you go. There's bad corrosion here. Come on, focus. There you go. So, this cap has leaked anyway. You can see corrosion all around it. Uh, I saw another one, yeah, there you go, this guy has leaked as well. Uh, you can see the corrosion at the base, 
wouldn't be surprised if this one and uh, a few of these are bad so there's a couple of caps that have leaked for sure that needs uh, replacing and then looking at the underside I spotted uh, a few uh, a few cold solder uh, joints as well um, so I'm gonna have to reflow uh, some of these I'm trying to find where it was there here there's a lifted trace here I'm gonna have to clean that area uh, and then redo a lot of the uh, reflow a lot of the solder um, and, uh, and 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 see if that changes uh, anything so <clears throat> that's what I'll do with this uh, I, I'm just gonna recap it for now and uh, and see if that brings the uh, the monitor back uh, if not I'm gonna have to dig out the uh, schematics I think I have them um, uh, I, I found the schematics I even looked at them but I, I found a, f a file uh, on uh, was it club or UK Vax uh, thank you whoever posted that thank you very much and then um, and then yeah and then <laughs> see what happens uh, I suppose so I need to order a cap kit and just look at those uh, cold solder spots and just give this a, a better clean with alcohol I've already washed it with a just washing up liquid and water and you can see traces and stuff here like it's uh, you know it's been sitting, there's another corroded uh, cap, signs of corrosion there, yeah, anyway. All right, quick update on this guy. You'll have to excuse the uh, the heater still. So I got the legs back. So um, unfortunately, unfortunately, I was told, and then after some research, it, it turns out that it's well probably true. But um, there's nobody really in Ireland that can do uh, proper chromes. Uh, I, I believe there's some uh, some plating, but I didn't want to go for. Uh, well, yeah, there's different reasons, but uh, one of the reasons actually is that there's no way to properly dispose of the uh, the waste created by the chroming. Um, so I went to a powder coater because I wanted this powder coated, um, and uh, I don't know why I just decided. Well, I, I wanted it chromed, but anyway, uh, I had to settle for silver, uh, which isn't bad. It wouldn't have been my first, first choice, but actually it doesn't look too bad at all. Um, while I, I was there, I actually changed my mind. I was like, well, should I get it black instead? Because I've, I've uh, sort of sprayed the other part black. But um, this wasn't overly expensive. I think this was 30 euro, which isn't actually a lot. Um, and they did a few coats and it's, it's, uh, it's properly uh, baked, you know, but um, some traces there that's actually dirt that I have put on myself but uh, yeah no it, it looks fine um, I would have loved chrome but I think the days of uh, chroming are are coming to an end so maybe I could have sanded it to a, a, a stainless finish type of thing but I didn't want to go that route either and I didn't want to spray it and I wanted a proper uh, protective coat um, so I could have gone black but I don't know why I, I don't like black legs I actually like the uh, difference in color and uh, I think it looks it looks okay I'm trying to convince myself not to redo it so it's silver it's actually not a a, a gray it looks gray and the camera is actually silver and it shines a bit um, but it's definitely not chrome which I would have loved but uh, yeah that, that wasn't quite uh, an option uh, at least for the area I live in I don't know about Dublin but um, west of Ireland um, I've been told there's nobody doing chrome here. So there you go. So, um, like I've said, I've uh, I've uh, resprayed this whole area, not entirely. Actually, you can see there's still a missed a spot here, but that's okay. I'm gonna have to live with that. Um, I probably, yeah, I'm gonna have to live with that. Um, it was just to protect from the, most of the rust and uh, um, 
Yeah, it just looks fine. I think. I think this looks. This looks like okay. I did a good job. Um, in places. Yeah, I know that's not too bad, but it's a lot better than what it was. That's for sure. Um, and then inside, uh, I think we're still exactly at the same spot as uh, under the previous uh, previous segment. So now I can actually start working on it because before it wasn't on the legs. I couldn't really work inside the cabinet. So um, I might need to check this power supply that it outputs to here the proper and it works. Um, from the looks of it, this is the um, AC transformer, this is the isolation transformer and this is uh, the, uh, the, well, some sort of switching um, regulator for different areas. Uh, see stuff going to the harness, to the controllers. Um, where is half of that going to, yeah, the, uh, yeah, there's uh, actually a lot of unused stuff here on this side as well. Uh, this is going through the uh, tilt, all the switches. There's a board that goes there for the, uh, it's a sort of coin um, coin board. Uh, I have it as well, uh, but it just, uh, I took it off so I wouldn't damage it. So it looks like some, some sort of switching sub, uh, transformer. I need to find the schematics for the title. I still haven't looked for them. They shouldn't be too, uh, too hard to find. And uh, so, yeah, maybe I need to test that. Well, I'm told it works, so maybe it's just uh, best to leave it alone. But I still want to know what's inside and kind of how it works and what's connected and what's not, you know what I mean? Um, as for this, uh, I'm still debating whether I should fix the, uh, the very, very small surface rust on this. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Yeah, I probably will. And this looks like this disconnects easily. Need to make a note of a what's what. Actually, there's letters on it. U U H. Anything on that Z? Okay, fair enough. Well, that makes it a lot easier. So I should be able to disconnect all of these and uh, and clean that a bit. And then and then um, my and then there's not much. It's just really the uh, the monitor. And uh, I'll probably do again a separate video on just the monitor, but um, you saw from uh, uh, sorry. So this is the uh, chassis for the monitor, and uh, uh, there's a, I actually cleaned it. Uh, I'll probably do a special video for 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 this, but I cleaned it, and uh, you can see there's some. It's going to be hard to focus because uh, when you get close doesn't want to focus on what you on the bottom and um, you can see the the corrosion here so this most likely this cap is leaked I can see some here as well uh, underneath the cap I can see some over there so I'd say a lot of these caps I uh, need uh, need to replace so I need to find a, a cap kit for this and replace all the caps and and pray that's it's the only thing that's uh, wrong with this because this is a, a toy uh, C, uh, it's written here, CM20, uh, sorry, CMR20 uh, monitor and um, uh, apparently the flyback for these guys are not available anymore. So if this goes, I'm pretty much screwed. Uh, and well, the problem is uh, usually when you replace all the caps, uh, flyback can go very shortly after that. So I'm gonna have to take a chance here and uh, and see how much I can extend this guy's life. Um, it's not all lost. The tube is fine, so that's always a spare tube. And uh, maybe in time I can find uh, a replacement. But they don't make these anymore. And the, these were a collaboration between uh, um, Hitachi and uh, Taito, I believe. So uh, a lot of these parts was just special for these type of monitors. So um, I have another one there and I, I, you know, that'll give me a spare tube in case I need to replace a tube uh, at some point. But I'm still gonna try and fix it, you know. The, 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 this whole thing is about trying to fix them, fix them you know, and keep as many original parts as possible. So, and that's what we're gonna do. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, I'll do a separate video on this, most likely. 
uh, and then we have the glass so the glass essentially these are stickers underneath uh, and I can see yes yeah, just the paint is a bad paint job but it's chipping in some areas you see that sort of bubbling uh, it means it's uh, it's actually lifted off the, uh, the glass that's really good cool, actually I can see the title sign here on the glass that's cool uh, but these were printed these were printed and I would venture that this is actually hand painted or sprayed at some point it, it, it's it, it's not clean enough to be original or it, at least it doesn't look like it's the original job uh, I could be wrong it could just be that old that it's uh, but uh, that's okay that's what I've done so I'll see I'll see how much I can is it worth saving or is it worth just stripping the, the entire back of this and then getting the actual uh, frogger layout paper sheets or something like that uh, and redo the, the, the whole uh, the, the whole sp spraying the back you know again uh, I'll see I'll see how much I can save that's way down the line though that's cosmetic uh, first we need to put uh, these back in these are the uh, the, uh, the latches for these clamps uh, and these can go well really at the end when we put the glass back that actually uh, secure the glass here to this this fella this is what I was hoping I could get the legs done in but uh, that was a no go apparently so uh, we're gonna have to uh, either some of them are showing signs of uh, wear and tear but um, I'm not gonna get a replacement for these at least not yet I don't think so so there you go these are you know legs back and uh, well let, let's let's keep working hey folks so I got the uh, legs back finally from uh, from the uh, uh, power coat um, so I got them a uh, power coat it's silver and not uh, n well not chrome obviously because as it turns out there's nobody who can do chrome in my area or possibly in Ireland in fact uh, there's a few reasons for that one of them is that the uh, byproduct is really hard to dispose of uh, now with the EU laws, uh, laws and uh, uh, and even a friend of mine in France said there was only one place in Spain that he knew of for uh, for cars uh, anyway that's just the way it is so I got them powder coated silver um, I, I I actually thought long and hard and maybe getting them coated in black like the rest of the body but originally they would have been chrome and it's just nice to have the contrast I think anyway that's my preference and uh, they did a nice job nice job so I got it back on the legs you can see the uh, the body underneath is uh, is uh, resprayed as well uh, we've had uh, a few things so um, okay let's just check the inside so I put back all the uh, metal work uh, all of these so these are nice and uh, and clean uh, I took the rust off it's looking much much better and I've taken the power uh, supplies here and uh, there's still one there uh, I'm not sure what I'll do with this one actually this is the uh, isolation transformer for the monitor and uh, I'm not sure it needs a clean I think it's fine as it is um, I might just give it a, give it a you know a, a clean like with just some uh, alcohol wipes and uh, and uh, maybe a hoover but other than that it's looking fine so I actually ended up taking out the the switching power supply which is over there uh, that's for DC uh, there was well that's in converting the DC sorry to 12 uh, you, you have actually a few a few different uh, power conversions so it's similar to those switching power supplies you get but you can see here you have uh, let me check here come on focus is the plus 5 you have a minus 5 minus 5 minus 12 and plus 12 and you have a few uh, pots to adjust everything, which is actually very handy. So there's a pot for the plus five, the minus five for plus 12. It's actually a, a very, very good um, switching power supply. You can see here, there's a few fuses missing. It's because I don't need the plus 12 on this. Uh, and I don't need whatever this is, it's probably minus five, yes. Um, so we just need plus five and plus 12, which is here and here. If I needed the... Uh, Minus and plus twelve, uh, minus five and plus uh, minus twelve. Obviously, I put a, 
a fuse here. There are one amp uh, fuses. Uh, yeah, so I can find them easily, but uh, I don't think I need them. Uh, maybe I need them for the Frogger. The the one I'm, I'm I'm putting in is a 16 one, so I think it just runs on plus uh, five and 12. Yeah, I could be wrong. And uh, um, a friend of mine actually said he, he, he'll send me a, a bootleg uh, board. Um, I, yeah, that that'd be lovely. But uh, I I, <laughs> I don't I don't plan on, on things like that being sent to me, um, uh, even when people say they will, because. It, it's happened very, very many, many times, especially with the other channel. People say they'll send me stuff, especially instruments, and um, that that never happens. And I don't expect it to happen. Is my point. <laughs> I never expect anything. So um, it, it, it'll be very nice, but it's uh, I, I plan without it, um, if you know what I mean. Anyway, this is the switching power supply. I'm rambling here, and I've taken out the uh, the um, plate for the uh, the coin the uh, switch here and the, uh, it's got the tilt and the service button um, and uh, I've just already sanded it uh, it was actually quite rusty on the back here um, so that black rust is actually still metal it's not quite rust it's different stages of rust um, so I think I'll leave them they're good enough here and uh, this is here the transformer from for uh, uh, AC to DC uh, so it converts to DC and again it goes into the uh, switching power supply. So I've I've given that a clean and uh, I've just put some WD-40 so it doesn't rust overnight. Uh, but uh, I might uh, I might give it another another bit of a sanding and and prepping here, especially here and here. Um, these would be hard to reach, but just to take some of the surface rust off it, so it'll look better anyway. Um, and. Uh, and then we'll put everything back together and I think our next step will be to focus on that uh, monitor. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I think here would probably be a good place to end this video, folks, um, because it's been long enough, <laughs> as it is. And uh, we've done quite a bit already of just essentially cleaning, taking apart, see how everything works and putting back together. Uh, and uh, cleaning all the uh, rust off that so it looks much much better than it initially was folks thank you for watching and uh, well see you next time all right so i actually took out all these cleaned them uh, took the rust off uh, i'll have to redo all the stickers i took photos just to make sure i could remember what uh, everything was um, I actually plugged it and I checked the uh, all the powers well through here uh, this into this uh, switching here coming well that's coming out that's going into the harness um, going into this so I checked the the power supplies they're fine so these guys are working as they should um, so really next uh, at this stage anyway is to fix that monitor so I'm gonna order a cap kit I haven't done it yet I've been putting this uh, aside for a while and uh, yeah let's 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 get cracking so there you go anyway that's that's the inside of the cab I've actually moved the uh, speaker over here uh, it's easier to uh, maintain it's, it's getting a bit crowded here and I guess some of the wires out um, some of the stuff wasn't connected I've just joined it together um, some here this some here uh, it just makes things a bit more tidy uh, I've tidied some of the harness as well uh, probably need to uh, yeah and uh, yeah there you go so we're we're pretty much done here with the cleaning and the inside of the cab um, maybe a bit of sanding here just to uh, Actually, yeah, I need to stand here. <laughs> there you go, I forgot about this part. So I'll do this next and, uh, and we can move on to the, uh, to the, uh, the monitor. But there you go, folks. I think, I think we're okay for this video. Uh, here wouldn't be a bad place to end it. We've got a nice clean cab, or at least cleaner cab inside. And uh, it's time to move on to the uh, monitor side of things. Folks, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.